Hi, this is Scott Moore from Woody Cabinet's Tips and Tricks. I had a question from a fellow Woody Cabinet member. What he was wanting to do was change the insets, or he wanted his doors to be insets, and also he was wanting to modify a library that he has. Uh, it's a paint grade library. I'm assuming he downloaded uh, one of the eCabinet's libraries that they offer. But he was wanting to modify the doors, he was wanting to make them inset, and he was having problems with that, and also, when he changed the door style, he was having a problem getting the face frame back to the same texture. So I'm going to try to reproduce this situation here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the door, door editor here, and I'm going to delete the existing doors, hold down the control key, right click or select them, the ones I want to delete, and delete item. Now I want to add them back, but first I need to select my door. So I'm going to go door, door selection, and I'm going to select the promise of the door. And if I click on CRP 10 here, and go under general, you can see that I have some selections of species that I can select, but I cannot change the texture on those in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that to default, and I'm going to select my door front. So click that again, and I'm going to go to door front, and I'm going to use a conistoger, and go to standard here, and I'm just going to pick a slab door front, and set default. Now, what I want to do is add those doors to the open. So I'm going to click on this open, and I'm going to add a left hinge door. Now, this is where you can set your door inset, um, doors to be inset. Under door inset here, you need to type the thickness of your door. So I'm going to type three quarters. I'm going to hit enter. When I do, you see that the overlaps change to gaps. This is the gap that you want to have for your inset door. So I'm just going to type one eighth. And then tab and one eighth. All these I want to be one eighth. And I can hit OK, click OK. And you see that it, it inset that door, but it's a maple texture. We're going to take care of that here shortly. I'm going to add a right hinge door. And I'm going to do the same thing. Change that to three quarters. And then change all these to one eighth. Now, if I had a double door, there would be an option down here to set the gap between double doors. You can set that to whatever gap you want also. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go ahead and put my door frame in here. I'm going to add a door. And set everything just like I did my doors. Click OK. Now when I return to main, we're going to see something happen here. You see that my face frame has a maple texture. And what's causing that is if you go into settings and preferences, and you're under face frames, and you go to page two, you see that display with finish, display finish, common with door is checked. If you uncheck that, and then you make any changes that you want to in here, and you click OK, um, you can see that it, it puts it back. Now, if you're manually changing, in other words, you change your species. Um, to, to something else. Sometimes your mid rails and your mid styles do not, the texture will not change nor the material. What you would have to do then would be to go into Face Frame Editor and click on those, hold down the control key, and then right click and just go to Construction Settings and click OK. You know, you make sure you got the material you want for these. Even though you did it in um, setting uh, construct in construction settings in the main area, sometimes it won't change those. So I'm gonna click OK and go back to main. Now we need to deal with these. Even though it has a maple texture, we can change that quite easily. I'm gonna click on my doors and door front. I'm gonna hold down my control key and click on each one. When I right click, I can select match texture. And then whatever item I click on, I'm just going to change the doors to whatever texture I click on. So I click on that and you can see that it changed. So now we have an inset 
doors and I will paint gray texture there. I hope this video helped. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get all my latest tips and tricks. And as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.